it exhibited a push away from the sun by some mysterious force because there was no evaporation, no cometary tail around it, no dust, no gas. So the question was, what is pushing it? Seven mile wide giant from interstellar space, three eye Atlas is heading our way and it's hiding a secret. NASA has confirmed it's packed with pristine water ice and organic molecules, the building blocks of life. But when they partnered with Google AI to analyze its strange looping trajectory through our solar system, the computer flagged something terrifying. The first object to have been reported by astronomers that came from outside the solar system looked really weird. It was discovered by a telescope in Hawaii. The object's path is aligned with Earth's orbit in a way that has a 0.2% chance of happening naturally. It seems to be deliberately avoiding our telescopes at its closest approach to the sun. A path that defies chance. It's funny when you think about it. For decades, we've been staring out into the cosmos, listening for a signal, a whisper from the great beyond. But we were always looking for a sound, a radio wave. We never expected the message to arrive as a seven mile wide chunk of rock and ice moving with a purpose that seems to defy all logic. This is the story of 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to visit our solar system. And it's a story that gets stranger with every new piece of data. Discovered by the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, 3i Atlas immediately stood out. Its sheer size is mind-boggling. To put it in perspective, the famous interstellar visitor Oumuamua was about 0.2 miles long. The second one, Borisov, was around 0.6 miles wide. 3E Atlas is a whopping 7 miles wide, making it an absolute giant. Dwarfing everything that has come before, it's hurtling toward our sun at nearly 130,000 miles per hour a speed so immense that our sun's gravity can't possibly capture it. This visitor is just passing through, a tourist on a cosmic road trip. Using NASA's infrared telescope facility, scientists got their first good look at what it's made of. The snapshots revealed it's teeming with water ice, carbon-rich minerals, and silicates. This wasn't just any water, it was chemically pristine. Models suggest this water could have frozen onto the object as far back as 7 billion years ago, long before our own planet even existed. It's literally a piece of another solar system's nursery, a fossil from a time before time. But it's not the object's composition that has scientists losing sleep. It's the path it's taking. This is where things get really weird. The trajectory is unusual. It's perfectly aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, a statistical long shot with a probability of less than 0.2%. But that's not all. As NASA scientists plotted its course, they noticed it was going to make incredibly close passes by several planets. On October 3rd, 2025, it will fly a mere 18 million miles from Mars. Later, on March 16th, 2026, it will pass just 33 million miles above Jupiter's clouds. The chances of all these alignments happening naturally are astronomically low. When the initial calculations seemed too strange to be true, NASA decided to leverage more power. They fed terabytes of tracking data from Atlas into one of Google's most sophisticated artificial intelligence systems. They wanted the AI to run millions of simulations to find a natural origin for this bizarre path. The results that came back are what truly shocked everyone. The Google AI confirmed the odds were even worse than they thought. There was less than a 1 in 20,000 chance for an interstellar object to have a trajectory that so closely hugs the inner planets. It's a flight path that looks less like a random tumble through space and more like a guided tour. Even more unsettling, it's scheduled to reach its closest point to the sun on October 29, 2025, when Earth is on the complete opposite side, hiding the object in the sun's glare and preventing our best telescopes from getting a clear look.
It's a coincidence that feels chillingly convenient. The AI didn't just crunch numbers, it flagged an anomaly, a pattern so unlikely it practically screamed design. The question was no longer if the path was strange, but why? Could this really just be a coincidence, or did we just find a needle in a haystack that was intentionally placed there? A Harvard Professor's Warning When something in space doesn't make sense, one name inevitably comes up. Avi Loeb. He's the professor of astrophysics from Harvard who famously suggested that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, might have been an alien spacecraft. Now, with the arrival of 3i Atlas and the AI's shocking analysis of its trajectory, he's back, and his new theory is even more chilling. In a paper co-authored with his colleagues titled, Is the Interstellar Object 3i's Atlas Alien Technology? Loeb lays out a disturbing case. He argues that the object's massive seven-mile-wide frame isn't just a natural feature, it could be camouflage. A body that large could easily conceal sophisticated instruments, a technological core hidden beneath a veneer of rock and ice. It's the perfect Trojan horse. Loeb then brings up the Dark Forest hypothesis. It's a terrifying concept in cosmology that suggests advanced civilizations actively hide from each other out of fear. In a dark forest, every civilization is a silent hunter, and the first rule is to never ever reveal your position because you don't know if you'll encounter another hunter who is peaceful or predatory. Announcing your presence is a potential death sentence. In this scenario, 3i Atlas wouldn't be a friendly greeting. It would be a disguised probe, a silent scout sent to passively map our solar system to eavesdrop on us without ever revealing its true nature. Its behavior fits the profile. The object's unusually high speed and its nearly retrograde inclination, meaning it's traveling against the general flow of traffic in our solar system, are pointed to as possible engineering choices, not cosmic coincidences. Why travel against the grain unless you have a specific destination in mind? And then there's that improbable planetary tour. According to Loeb, the fact that its path swings so close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter is a massive red flag. He points out that while the chances are 1 in 20,000 for this to happen randomly, it's a 100% certainty if it was planned. It's the most efficient way to gather data on multiple worlds in a single pass. It's also incredibly suspicious that its closest approach to the sun will hide it from Earth's view. This could be a deliberate maneuver shielding the object and any smaller devices it might deploy towards Earth from our direct observation at a crucial moment. It gets even spookier. Loeb calculated that given its speed, 3 ice Atlas would have first entered the outer edges of our solar system about 8,000 years ago. Thing is, that's almost exactly the same time that humans on Earth first developed writing and began to formally record their own history. He doesn't say what that timing might mean, but the implication hangs heavy in the air. Was its arrival timed? Did it wait until it knew someone was home and was advanced enough to leave a record? While most experts are quick to dismiss these ideas, pointing out that the object appears to have a coma and dust jets like a regular comet, Loeb's collaborators note that key signatures like the gases, cyanogen, or diatomic carbon are still missing. The book is far from closed on what this thing truly is. While most of the world sees a comet, Loeb sees a potential threat hiding in plain sight. But to understand why he's so suspicious, you have to look back at the first visitor that started it all. Dark Comets or Alien Tech The detection of 3i Atlas makes our first interstellar visitor, Yumuamua, seem even more alien than it did before. It's because while Atlas seems to be following some of the rules of being a comet, Oumuamua broke every single one of them. Back on October 19, 2017, astronomers in Hawaii spotted a faint streak of light moving faster than any space rock should. It was officially named Wanaisia Oumuamua, Hawaiian for scout. 
They only had about 40 days to study it before it vanished forever, and everything they found was bizarre. First, its shape. Based on how its brightness fluctuated wildly every 7.3 hours, scientists concluded it had an extreme shape, at least 10 times longer than it was wide. Imagine something shaped like a cigar or maybe a completely flat saucer, tumbling end over end through space. No known natural process creates objects like that, but the biggest shocker was yet to come. As it flew past the sun, Oumuamua accelerated. It got a tiny but clearly measurable nudge of extra speed that wasn't caused by gravity. Normally, that push would come from outgassing. When a comet gets close to the sun, its ice turns to gas and shoots out like a rocket jet. But here's the problem. Every telescope that looked at Oumuamua saw a perfectly clean trail. No dust, no gas, no coma, no tail. It was accelerating without any visible means of propulsion. This is the core of the mystery. Solar radiation pressure was far too weak to give it that push, unless the object was incredibly thin, like a sheet of paper with a huge surface area and very little mass. That sounds a lot less like a rock and a lot more like a solar sail, a piece of technology. NASA even pointed its Spitzer Space Telescope at the object, hoping to detect a heat signature. It found nothing, just silence. In fact, Spitzer's data only deepened the mystery, revealing Oumuamua's surface was at least 10 times more reflective than a typical comet, suggesting it could even be metallic. This is what led Avi Loeb to propose his light sail theory, but other scientists came up with a natural explanation, the dark comet theory. They suggested Oumuamua could be made of solid hydrogen ice. As it neared the sun, the hydrogen would seep out as an invisible gas, providing thrust without any visible dust or trail. It's a neat theory, and since then, we found other objects in our own solar system that seem to fit this profile. But Loeb remains unconvinced, arguing the physics for a hydrogen iceberg just don't add up. And now, along comes 3i Atlas. It's big, it's icy, and it seems to have a coma. It's behaving much more like a normal comet. And you know what? That's exactly what makes Oumuamua so much weirder in hindsight. If interstellar visitors are supposed to look like Atlas or Borisov, then what in the world was Oumuamua? The new data makes the scout seem less like a fluke and more like something else entirely. It sharpens the question, was one a natural object and the other something artificial? This contrast puts us at a crossroads. We're getting two completely different pictures of what's out there in the dark between the stars. Are we missing something? So here we are with two visitors from the void and two wildly different stories. On one hand, you have 3i Atlas, a seven-mile-wide giant on a statistically impossible grand tour of our solar system, a path so precise that a powerful AI flagged it as potentially designed. On the other hand, you have the ghost of Oumuamua, a bizarrely shaped, metallic-looking object that accelerated without any reason, behaving more like a piece of technology than a rock. One looks like a comet, but acts like a probe. The other didn't look like a comet and didn't act like one either. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? When things like this happen, we are told to trust the simplest explanation, that it's all just a coincidence, that 3i Atlas is just a normal comet on a lucky path, and Oumuamua was just a strange but natural dark comet. And maybe that's true, but what if it's not? The thing is, these aren't small details we're talking about. A 1 in 20,000 trajectory isn't just a lucky shot. It's a cosmic bullseye. An object accelerating with no visible engine isn't just an oddity. It's a violation of what we thought we knew. Are we really supposed to believe that the first two interstellar objects we get a good look at are both record-breaking freaks of nature? Is it possible we are missing a key detail in all of this? Scientists are already planning missions like Project Lyra, an ambitious plan to launch a high-speed probe that could chase down the next one of these objects to see it up close. But that's decades away. 
Right now, all we have is the data, and the data is telling us a story that's hard to swallow. Is it all just a series of cosmic coincidences, or are we refusing to see the pattern right in front of us? Let us know your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.